In this video, I'll walk through some of the preferences available to you in your Adobe Connect Rooms. Preferences are located under your meeting menu. Now the label for your meeting menu may change. It's based on the name of your meeting. So for me, it says Adobe Connect Overview. For you, it'll be whatever you named your meeting. In this meeting menu, you can select preferences to open up the preferences dialog. Now, I should say that many of these preferences can be accessed from their respective pods. So if you choose preferences from the video pod, you'll be taken directly to the video preferences in this preferences dialog. But you can access everything here under the general preferences. Let's take a look at each of these sections quickly, starting with general. The first preference I've got is the ability to upload my own custom background image. I always recommend people do this. It adds a little personality to your room. By default, it's a fairly light gray background that's being used, but you can add your own image simply by selecting custom and then browsing your computer for any JPEG, PNG, or GIF image. I'm going to select something from my computer here, like this virtual classroom background, and click open. That's going to upload the JPEG image, in this case, to my room, and also give me the ability to change the alignment. It'd be hard to see here, but I've got an Adobe logo in the bottom right hand corner of my image. And I want to make sure that the image is anchored to the bottom right hand corner. So I can actually align the image to the bottom right, and that will ensure that my logo will never get cut off. It'll always get cut off from the top left rather than the bottom right if somebody has a different sized screen or monitor that they're using. The next option is to set my host cursor. If I want my cursor to be shown either to other hosts or to all attendees, I can select these different options. I've also got the option just to show my cursors when I'm using the whiteboard. A new feature added in Adobe Connect 11 is a recording reminder. If I'm in my room for a few minutes and I haven't started the recording yet, Adobe Connect can quickly remind me to record. If I don't need to record, I can simply dismiss that message. We've also got the option to enable attendees to view almost all of the pods in Adobe Connect in full screen mode. This can sometimes help, especially if they're on a smaller or mobile device. This is enabled by default, but if you don't want your attendees putting something in full screen mode because you're worried they're not going to see another pod on your layout, you can disable this option. The menu bar features an activity ticker that will show you who's talking, as well as other activities that are happening in the room. That can be disabled if you'd like, and I usually disable this for larger webinars, especially where we're trying to protect personal information. We can also disable the ability for someone to set their status to a raised hand. When an individual raises their hand in Adobe Connect, it alerts the host of the meeting that someone's raised their hand. That's usually a good thing in a virtual classroom, but again, in a very large meeting, that can be distracting. So we can disable the ability to raise hands altogether. We can also limit the notifications so that those notifications don't persist during screen share and we can control the amount of time that they show up. The third section under preferences is the ability to customize the display name. This is particularly useful if you're using custom fields with Adobe Connect, but even if you're not, you can choose which fields should show up as the names are displayed inside of Adobe Connect. The fourth option is around audio conferencing. Some rooms may be set up using voice over IP only, but you also have the option to choose a, an audio conferencing provider. Now, these will have to be set up in your profile. We've got a different video for that. But as you can see, if I select an audio conferencing provider and hit save, I've got the option as to how I want my participants and my attendees to access audio. Do I want to enable microphones for this meeting or have everybody use the phone? If I am enabling microphones, should participants be able to use those microphones by default? Or is it something I want to grant on a participant by participant basis? There's a lot of different details that are available here as you're setting up your audio. So take the time with this to ensure that you're setting it up exactly how you'd like it. The next section is for video. And here you can do things like disable the preview that will show up when you start to share your webcam. By default, Adobe Connect will let you check your image to make sure that you're sharing your right webcam and that you're happy with your background and your image before you start broadcasting that to everybody else in the Adobe Connect room. 
That can be disabled though. Some people don't realize they need to click the start sharing button to actually start sharing their webcam. So that can be a handy option to enable. We can also highlight active speakers by drawing a border around whoever's speaking based on the microphones that are being used inside of Adobe Connect or the integrated telephony. That's off by default, but can be turned on if you'd like to include that. You can choose between a standard and a widescreen aspect ratio for the webcams that are appearing in the Adobe Connect video pod. You can also adjust the quality. Here you can see it's set to standard, but we can raise the quality all the way up to HD at the cost of using extra bandwidth. The next preference section is around the share pod. And again, the first option enables us to balance the amount of bandwidth we're using versus the quality of the screen share. I find that standard offers a great balance. Here, I've got the ability to show my application cursor to people watching my screen share. By default, Adobe Connect doesn't use your application cursor. It saves us resources and bandwidth to overlay a generic cursor on your screen. But if you're using a creative application like Adobe Premiere Professional or Photoshop, you may want the application cursor to come through because those applications use specialized cursors. So there's an option here to force through the application cursor rather than using the Adobe Connect default. You can also see here a preference around enabling the mini control panel while you're screen sharing. That is on by default, and I typically recommend keeping that on. A new feature added to Adobe Connect 11 enables you to start buffering the video automatically for participants. This will typically give you smoother video playback, even for those coming in with lower bandwidth connections. Under the whiteboard section of this preferences pane, we've also got the ability to automatically and allowing participants to draw on the whiteboard and giving them the option to export those whiteboard annotations as a PNG file or emailing them to themselves. Next, we've got some options around attendee pod. Here we can select the way that a name is displayed, whether it's sorted by first name or last name. We've also got the option to mask telephone numbers so that nobody can see that information. Under the chat pod options, we've got settings that allow us to turn on or off the ability to enable private chat. If this is turned off, then someone cannot chat privately to other participants. And then the notifications that come up for chat, we've got the ability to disable those altogether or set the time. The default here is three seconds. The last preferences section is for the Q&A pod. This enables us again to hide the personal information that may be associated with a question asker who's asking a question, as well as the individual who is answering a question in the Q&A pod. The Q&A pod is typically used for larger webinars where we may want to hide personal information when it makes sense. So being able to anonymize that information is very helpful. That's a quick look at the preferences available to you in your Adobe Connect Room. Thanks for your time.